Hey class, Dr. Sands here. Wanted to take a minute to walk you through your upcoming assignments, uh, strategic audit orientation selection. All right, let's get into it. So for the summary, uh, performing a strategic audit on a regular basis is crucial to the success of the business uh, as business leaders must guard uh, for sudden or incremental changes in the market conditions. The strategic manager performs a strategic audit to assess the current business strategy and its competition, determine competitive risks to develop new strategies and gauge whether the company is in a position to execute the strategy. So and that is that is that is reality is you know you set a strategic direction and then the market changes and maybe you know you need to shift along with the market to get to your end goal. So that's what you got to continue assess uh, where your where you are along your plan 30, 60, 90 days, etc. Okay. In this assignment, you will identify and analyze an organization and its top competitor to help identify potential strategies to enhance your organization's competitive positioning. Another way, you know, you could look at that is like benchmarking. How are we, how is your organization faring to top competitors, right? Okay, so here's the instructions. Uh, instructions, select an organization in the United States that includes the requirements listed below. So when you pick your organization, um, have these in mind to ensure it fits all the criteria. Organization's current performance, mission statement, vision statement, policies, uh, and corporate social responsibility. Okay, that's number one. So that's what the requirements. Then on number two, visit the SEC Security and Exchange Commission. So click the link and search for a Form 10K uh, as a resource to uh, select an organization. Now this says a public organization is not required for this assignment. Um, and the Form 10K, if you're not familiar with that, that's actually a corporate filing that has, it's a public document on, it discloses everything about the organization. Now, um, that's not always readily available for private organizations because uh, they're not required to. So um, while it says a public organization not required, most likely that's gonna be the easiest thing to do, like Coca-Cola, Walmart, Amazon. Um, Nike, right? <clears throat> okay, number three. Make so the intent of number two is to get the form 10K because that's going to have a lot of really good information in it. Okay, okay. So number three, make sure that the mission vision statement and mission and vision statements are two different things mission vision statements and strategic goals and objectives are readily available for the organization that you choose. If not readily accessible, select another organization. Okay, so that's why usually a public company is easiest because you're gonna get all this stuff. Number four, submit proposed organization for approval to your instructor, i.e. me. Uh, include, now this is over and above, right? Organizations URL, so basically the link to the organization. Um, URLs for supportive research. <clears throat> so whatever research you do on that organization, provide that uh, as a reference as well, the URL, so I can double check it. And then rationale for selection of organization. So why did you pick the company? It could be as simple as because it had all the information I needed or I worked there or, you know, I've always been interested in this company. It'd be, it'd be cool to learn about it. So give your rationale. Okay. Um, so uh, selection of organization is based in the United States. So here's the requirements. You need two, uh, two requirements, citations. 
uh, word count 150 200 words so it's pretty small paper uh, APA formatting title page reference page so again if you haven't watched my video that I posted in the announcements on APA formatting please do so because uh, that gives all the the needed information on what I expect on your APA formatted papers even these small ones it still is APA format requirement so when this you go back up to the top here it says selection of organization in the United States that includes the following requirements so you have to write about these right so your paper organizations current uh, performance mission vision strategies policies corporate social responsibility um, when you look at the APA formatting, these would all be considered level one headers, right? So your title page, your introduction, which is you know paragraph three by sentences, then your paper then would be broken into those sections: organization's current performance, level one header, write about it; mission statement, level one header, write about it; uh, vision statement, level one header, write about it; strategies, level one header, write about it policies level one header write about it and corporate social responsibility level one header write about it and then you're going to have your conclusion and then your reference page so that's what i expect you to be turning in all right so as <clears throat> so we come down here and the requirements uh selection of organizations based on states already said that proposed organization's mission mission statement Vision objectives, provide URL to select organization's website and any other supportive resources which provide basic company information such as strategy, policies, uh, and other uh, pertinent information. Provide rationale for your selection. So you also have the rationale as to why you selected that, paper, uh, that organization. So you're going to have these sections up here in these bullets under instructions, and then you're also going to have a section for why you selected um, the organization. All right, uh, and uh, just you know, word for you know plagiarism um, when you submit your paper to both the plagiarism checker, and of course, not only does that uh, check for plagiarism, but now it checks for AI, right? So if you're thinking about using ChatGPT to write your paper, please don't. Um, the AI will pick it up and then we'll have to have a chat. All right. Well, that's it for this assignment. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to me and we can talk about it. All right. Thanks.